Hi, I'm Caitlin, otherwise known as a compatibility coach. I am a life and love coach who works with people to get them better relationships. So often clients come to me because they're either sick of dating, they're not sure why they're attracting the unavailable partners, or they just feel numb to it all. So we work out what's going on, we figure out their love template, we look at their blind spots, we decide what they need to do, and then we move them to a place where dating is exciting, where they are sure that they're gonna meet somebody and they get that hope back rather than that kind of horrible feeling of disappointment in a nutshell. Um, but what I'm talking about today is a topic that's super prevalent to my clients and it is around the fear of settling. Now, I'll be honest, uh, you know, sometimes that people come to work with me or they reach out, it's because they have that kind of concern or maybe fear that time is running away and they are worried that it's not going to happen. And often those fears can manifest into things like um, wanting to find somebody really quickly and trying to rush the process. And then if they meet somebody who's nice and they don't fancy them, worrying if they're going to regret it later. So they're in that kind of worry and fear mindset of rushing, but also feeling like maybe they should settle. Um, or they have the opposite concern where, yeah, they want love, but they really fear the idea of settling down and the idea of compromising um, in any way when it comes to what they want, which can actually lead to quite a lot of avoidance um, or kind of focusing on the negatives or what somebody doesn't have rather than actually what they want. And the third one is probably settling for the first person that ticks enough boxes and that comes along and kind of wants the same thing, but ignores any gut feelings or red flags around it. So I have a lot to say on this subject, I'm going to be honest. And first of all, you know, what I want to talk about is the time aspect, because there's a lot of bullshit when it comes to kind of coaching around the idea of a time frame. Um, especially for women, but look, let's call a spade a spade. Yes, it is sadly more of a factor for women than men, especially, you know, let's say if we are kind of mid thirties and onwards and we do still want kids, you know, and if we have less to have them, it becomes as frustrating as it is, more of a consideration and more of a conversation. Um, but, you know, rather than I think them rushing in, it might be time to actually gently weigh up if that's where your thought process is going and your, your mind's going. But actually, you know, rather than dating chaotically and dating from a sense of fear that it might not happen or whatever it is, spend a bit of time either not dating, a couple of months, and use that time to really get to the bottom of who and what is going to make you happy. Um, you know, get to know yourself figure out what's been keeping you stuck, figure out what your patterns are, because that's going to save you time in the long run. Um, and my kind of second point around the idea of settling and kind of rushing or the fear of not settling is that when clients say, um, I don't want to settle, I don't want to compromise, a lot of the time they're saying that from a place of fear that they're not going to get the passion and the stability um, and also from a place that they're actually not sure what they want because I hear again and again you know I don't just want to marry somebody who's nice you know I don't find nice people attractive or um, you know I don't want to settle for somebody who's nice but boring so it's this concept that the nice person is boring which is bullshit, isn't it? You know, I don't understand why like being nice and secure and stable has suddenly become qualities that aren't as um, highly valued as other ones, such as the chase, the chemistry, the looks um, and that sort of element. So I would just gently encourage you to actually start thinking about what you're settling for, because the conversation really should be, I don't want to settle for somebody who is, yeah, they might be hot and exciting, but they blow hot and cold, they treat me like shit, and they're not consistent, personally. Um, so when we're in that mindset of, you know, the fear of settling, 
or the fear of settling down and when that becomes a conversation of you think you can only get certain things or your priorities perhaps aren't on the values such as being loyal being kind making you laugh having that attraction but that deeper level of security then we perhaps need to have a conversation because that might suggest that we need to do the work on your values um, and actually on who you want what is what you need what's going to make you happy and if there is any avoidance there and unavailability there of course we can have conversations about the spark and i've got other youtube videos on that so i can hear loads of you rolling your eyes um so yeah sorry i feel like i'm this is more of a thought piece youtube rather than a five tips but as i said you know let's kind of reevaluate the concept of time and let's make conscious decisions around it. Let's think about the idea of actually what we're settling for and what we're chasing. And the third thing I think I'd say is, you know, time shouldn't be the reason that we're with somebody. It shouldn't be the deciding factor in who you end up with. You know, we don't want to be making rushed decisions, I can't talk, based on fear because we've reached a certain age. So just as we don't want to be um chasing people who are inconsistent because we fear that we don't want to settle for somebody who's nice because we feel we might not fancy them we also don't want to be rushing in and um you know making decisions based on we think that oh they're and it's probably conscious but that thing of oh okay they're the best we're gonna get or oh okay yeah this will do which is a horrible way to think about love and relationships. You know, it should be something that's super exciting that you can't wait to see that person every day, but there is that stability, there isn't the games. You feel secure and calm when you're around them. Um, so when it comes to time, yes, there can be a bit of a pressure, which is a good thing because it means we finally start making conscious decisions, good decisions. But what I would say is that not knowing can also be glorious you know not knowing where you might end up or who you might meet or what's going to happen is also a gift because you're going to get to the same place okay we're all going to reach the age of 70 um and our path is our path what's in it is meant to be in it and i really try and do believe that but as cliche as it sounds if you get to the same place it's up to you how you get there and you either have a decision whether you can enjoy it or whether you don't whether you can spend your time based on what you don't have or you can start appreciating what you do have. So actually make time your friend. Book those trips. Think about what you want. Think about, you know, filling your life up with things that light you up. You know, join those clubs. Date without expectation or fear. Date yourself. You know, do the things that make you happy because actually when it boils down to it, You've got far more chance of meeting somebody if you're creating a life you love, if you're doing things that make you happy, if you feel good, rather than dating chaotically or desperately because you're scared of not meeting somebody before your time runs away. Um, as always, well, and one thing I will end on is I truly believe that you can have everything. You know, it's coming for you. You can have that relationship you want. You can have the job that fulfills you or maybe just gives you the money to do what you want and have a nice life. Like you have the happiness. The happiness is your birthright, okay? You get to make yourself happy. You get to have it all. So yeah, I'll end on that. As always, I talk about coaching spaces available. Um, I've got two left now um, to start this month. And going forward or hope so at the time this video goes out um but yeah we'll go from there okay lots of love